Oh yeah, it is Mordecai's are top. Well, hey, good thing I went Ignite. This is my first time not going Bone Plating into Mord, so we'll see how that goes. We got the uh, Biscuit approach. If the Urgot gets his shotguns off, then you win the 1v1 early game. If he moves in a way where I can't get my shotguns, then he, he can actually win it. It's all about getting those passive shotguns off. Which is the little indicators around your champion. When do I try to get my Mythic? I've been getting it second recently. Unless I'm versus an ADC and I want Prowlers, then I'll get it first. Wait, shit is so low. Oh my god, I'm alive. Master Yi should win that, that should be free. Nice, good key timing on the E there. Yeah, that's why Shiv players usually don't really gank. That's why they usually just go for the full clear, because you get kind of chunked out on your early gank, or on your early jungle clear. But yeah, I've been going Cleaver into Eclipse in a lot of games. And if I'm versus an ADC, then I'll sometimes rush Prowlers, or just like a range land. Okay, well Mordekaiser does get a kill, but I, I do get that wave fix, so I'm kind of okay with that. Our wave was going to be in a pretty bad spot there if he just came like straight back to land. Um, into Mordekaiser though, I do go Ma Rush. So let's just get a Hex Drinker right now. The only way you can... Well, I shouldn't say the only way. The way that I like to do it, and honestly, kind of the only way where I feel like you have a chance is Ma Rush. Every time I go Cleaver first into Mord, like, it feels good. Wait, what is this guy pinging? Did we see Shiv there for a sec? Or sorry, every time I do Clear Rush, it doesn't feel that good into Mord. Like, damage-wise, it feels good, but it's so easy to die. Ma just helps you live in the death realm. Um, the thing that makes me go Eclipse is usually, usually if I'm just versus like melee champs. Usually melee champs that are like a little bit beefy, like Mordekaiser is a perfect example. Once you get Ma Cleaver Eclipse, you can really just shred this champ. He's only on boot D shield. We could actually probably trade a little bit. Once he goes for this cannon, maybe. Yeah, really good time to trade with him there. People are always going to greed for that cannon. My build is better right now, and we have Ignite ulti advantage. Really 
really not scared of this ship. Also not gonna waste my time with her, time with her though. I'm just back here. As long as that wave pushes in, I'm happy. The amount of gold that I have when I finish these backs is working out absolutely perfect, by the way. Does he want me to take red? Good thing he didn't take this guy's shiv. Yeah, I guess that is a good thing. I will play shiv top one of these days, though, man. I do want to test it out. I don't think I should do it on this account, though, because we do play against pretty good players on here. Although, I think I could do pretty good with shiv top. It really doesn't look that hard to play. Okay, we should be able to kill this guy for sure. Does he have a blast gun? I can survive the death realm right now. I don't know if Zerath can though. Wow, he doesn't even get his death realm. That was a perfect CC gen. That was a really good call on the ward. I actually wouldn't have done that ward if he didn't say anything about that. A really nice shot call. Hey, welcome in, Dunk. Try to make my way over. She's probably going to drag over this cliff. Oh, he still has death realm. Yeah. Can we win this? Oh, I didn't get my E off. Dang, Mordekaiser's back in the game. Just like that, he's back in the game. Dang it. Alright, we do get our mom this back, which is really good at least. I think we'll get a refillable just in case. This lane is kind of scary now. Also, I realized that my W didn't turn on on the shiv there. That was kind of weird. I thought I did EW, but my W didn't toggle on. Kind of threw me off in that fight. I don't think it really would have changed the outcome there, but... Yeah, who knows. Oh, you saw the Darius game on YouTube? Yeah, I've been uh, enjoying some Darius, man. I really like the champ. Urgot, Darius, and Yurik in that order is what I've been really enjoying. I've been first pick a lot today, though, so I haven't got to play any Darius today. I did have a decent Yurik game today, but we lost. We lost pretty hard. But I did really get in the lane. I'll definitely be playing some more Darius, though. Especially if they ever pick if they ever pick a Trox. If I can, I refuse to play Urgot into a Trox. Just feels so brutal. What mythic do I like for Yurik? Either Divine or Trinity. Divine if they have a lot of tanks, and Trinity if you want to go like really heavy split push. Kind of afraid to play up right now because I don't know where jungle is. And this is a really bad spot to get death round. 
I do think I can win in the Death Realm, though, actually. It's gonna be close, but I think we can. Oh, yeah, we definitely can. Got the ulti. Sweet. We get a save Ignite, too. I got a lot of free damage with him going for the face check. That's why I was able to save Ignite. You don't think Darius feels that good in Teatrox? Yeah, I want to say it's like insanely free but it just feels like you can survive the early game getting full value out of D shield feels really nice being a melee champ and then you're also just like strong enough to fight back early this shiv really likes top lane Oh, she's gonna shilly, isn't she? Alright, rip my turret. Maybe I should have stayed. Yeah, we should have stayed. I shouldn't have backed there. Because we were healthy enough to stay. They can't dive me. This cannon first. Looks like they just blast gunned out. Yeah, the Shiv top build that I want to try when I do play is going to be the uh, that like Frostfire Demonic Burn build. And just poke people down with ease. Once I do try her out, that's the build I'm gonna try. Let's see if he plays up here. Nice, I'd approach velocity, man. I'm actually liking the approach. I think I like this better than Bone Flooding. Into Morden. The thing that's nice about Bone Flooding is you can, like, you can force the fights pre level 6 pretty hard into Morden. Like, every time you have Bone Flooding off cooldown, you can try to force. And even just like win a little trade. But I don't know, man. Approach always feels good. It really makes a difference between getting kills and not getting kills, I'm noticing. And then just feels like super good out of lane, too. It always feels nice in team fights. You know, we actually have Grinder coming back up. I can maybe fight again. Because it would be nice to get Cleaver on this back anyway. Yeah, the Mordekaiser is calling me toxic. That's kind of weird. Hey, I'm just playing the game, man. You gotta hate the game, not the play. Hmm, level 10 Shiv. I don't know if I can TV one. I think we just get enough for Cleaver and get out of here. With Cleaver, I can TV one, but we're sitting on a lot of gold. So it's going to be pretty sketchy. And no ignite up. I need to get this back timing before drag. This 
This guy should recall for drag. This would be a really good time to fight. Because I'm on two item spike. Oh man, we have a Jarvan support this game. AP Jarvan support. Okay, Zerath is backing, and Master Yi didn't listen to my pings. This is pretty sad. But maybe we can try to stall. It looks like they're not rushing it. Try to pull it out a bit. Oh, he got death round. Okay, nice. I got the Shiv. Okay, honestly, not bad, dude. We got Dragon, we got Shiv. We got two Dragons. The two for one. I don't know. That fight started off really bad. So the fact that we get Drake is pretty good, I would say. I wonder if I should go. I wonder if I should go Eclipse. I think I should. Do double longsword for now, anyway. I feel like Prowlers could maybe be good too. Eclipse is really good if I'm going against Mord Shiv. But if I want to focus on a Nivea Jin, I feel like Prowlers is kind of good. It's kind of a hard call, to be honest. I think they're both pretty good. Mordekaiser's managing to get kills and CSing pretty well, so I think he's still a threat. The problem is we have AP Jarvan support. Trying to get her egg. Yeah, I don't know, man. I feel like our team comp is just not good, if I'm being honest. We have a Master Yi and an AP Jarvan support. And an ADC Ash. I feel like that's pretty weak right now, too. Also, I don't think we're playing the macro very well as a team. Sorry if I sound pretty negative this game, but that's honestly, if I'm just being completely honest, that's how I feel this game. I feel like we're pretty outdrafted. And Anivia's really good into me, Mord's really good into me, Renata's really good into me. Should be pretty good. All right, we're getting some kills on the Ash. Enemy, 
Hopefully she can do something with that. Once I get Eclipse, it, it's a massive power spike since I already have two legendaries. We're going to get 8% armor pen just from the passive. It's going to be pretty huge. Yeah, Ash ADC is still definitely viable enough. I just feel like it's on the weaker end of ADCs. In terms of, like, damage. Decent utility, though. Anivia getting fed is really tough for me. I want to save my grinder, but he was maybe going to kill the Yi. All right, we're going to give mid for this, but I think it might be okay. I don't think we even stop mid anyway if we back. We can maybe try to flank it, though. Maybe Jarvan can trap him. It's like the one good thing about this Jarvan support. That's gonna be a decent slow. Oh, we don't have Ash Arrow though. Alright, we got the Eclipse Spike. One more Drake for Soul as well. I think if we get that, the game kind of turns a little bit. Definitely going to go for Titanic 4th item here. And then last item, probably Stone Plate. They have a lot of mixed damage. That's what I'm leaning towards. All yours, buddy. I think the Sunfire on E is actually a really good buy into the Nivea. The Bork Sunfire seems really good, actually. I like that. Guy's kind of just getting CC'd to death. I gotta go all the way around, sadly. Oh my god, I actually fit through that? Dude, how on earth do I actually fit through that wall? That was crazy. Uh, I don't know. Do we rush Baron? Mid into Baron, maybe? He has the Hex Portals. I think we do it, man. Little bit of a sketchy call, but... 
I think we go for it. First the shiv. Yeah, dude, I think Eclipse was the right buy. This damage is feeling so good. This is feeling really good. Let's be a little bit careful with that. Yeah. I can't really dive into in Nivea without Grandy. I need to spend my gold, dude. We got 4k in the pocket. Let's get that going. Get some MR going. Yeah, dude, the J4 is actually not doing too bad. I wasn't too happy with how he was playing early game, but he's doing good mid game, man. He is setting up some good picks for us. Definitely got to give him some credit on that. No oh, the dragon. Get the drag, man. Get that soul going. Nice. My grinder is actually such a short cooldown. We can maybe snipe this guy. Wait, I need to get a blue trinket this game. I keep forgetting. nice dude this Zareth is really good too oh my god thank you Ash So close. Oh, nice, dude. She got the auto attack in. Okay, let's not throw a thousand gold shut down, though. I gotta be careful. I can't really go in. Just kind of here for the grinder, to be honest. Also, that Hextech Soul adds a little bit of damage to my snipe. I just realized that. Alright, full build, dude. I think I... Hmm, I wonder if I should sell my beats for Deadmans. Merc Treads are making the game kind of playable versus Nivea. I think it might actually be more value than having a Deadmans. Wait, my E missed? I got blocked by the wall, I guess. Yeah, uh, she flashed over. <laughs> Nothing more can do about that. I feel your pain, buddy. Make sure we don't kill our teammate here. Dude, 
That was awesome. Beautiful E flash play. Just that AoE shred damage with the shotguns and the Hexel. That was so sick, man. Should be GG. That was a nice team to play with, man. Nice, good game, man. I feel really good against Mord, dude. I think rushing the Maw is so crucial. Maw into Cleaver into Eclipse. That build feels so sold into Mord. I gotta give that one to Zerath, man. I think that guy played really well. Wait, free X Legend. Oh, it's a Master Yi trying to invite me to a game. I thought it was a Xerath for a sec. Dang, 43.2k damage, man. Feels good. Into Anivia, too. That's actually crazy. Anivia didn't feel that bad that game with the uh, Merc Tread. Merc Tread, Legend Tenacity, Approach Velocity. Dude, we had a hundred times spent hasted. A hundred seconds on Approach. Super nice. 3.1k damage on the PTA. That was a really fun game, man. GG's. Free.